Hey everybody, new Attack on Titan trailer. I thought it would be fun to kind of break down the trailer in a more significant way than, you know, the basic recap I think most people are used to. Let's talk about some of the ideas, the foreshadowing, like the, the real meaty stuff here. And joining your host Wedgwick is me, Ann Berger. I'm another huge Shingeki no Kyojin fan, so get ready for a nerdgasm. I know I already had one. Yeah, he's uh, contractually obligated to be here. He helped me edit a previous video and I told him I'd get him in one. Um, <laughs> so, as far as I understand, this roughly translates to Armin, I'm a slave to freedom. I think it's significant Aaron's just outright saying this. It harkens back to the core theme of Attack on Titan, just that, that paradox of freedom, how in liberating ourselves of one thing, we fall slave to another. Like I said before, it's, it's the culture or the counterculture, the music or the silence. Um, and it's it's cool that they're they're hitting that mark here. Well, Wadwick, I would have to disagree with you. I know you like anime and like Japanese, but I actually use Google Translate to understand what he says, and it's actually aluminum. I'm a free slave. It doesn't really make sense. To Sorry, that's my parents fighting, which is honestly freaking annoying as hell. Can you please shut up? It doesn't really make sense here, but I'm sure we'll find out what this is when the movie comes out. Uh, yeah, anyway, here's Ymir, and I'm going to stop here for a second. I don't think a lot of people understand Ymir, right? There's a principle in archetypal psychology called the inner child. I touched on it a bit in the Jean video I made. The inner child is the source of all of one's creativity, nodded to with her capacity to build titans, right? All of one's capacity to digest the beauty of the world, but... On the kind of shadow side, the inner child is... Oh, well, that is certainly an interesting take. Uh, I think you got the whole thing wrong. Notice her yellow hair? That's obviously fucking Historia, also known as Crystal Ends, also known as my fucking waifu. <laughs> We're obviously going to be following the rest of the story. We're obviously going to be following the rest of her story in this movie. Maybe. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna move on. It's so stark how they cut from this this blind innocent child onto the spinal structure. That's the entire basis of conflict in Attack on Titan is the inner child, one's own innocence uh, and the lightness of one's heart versus the primal animalistic contingent of us. Right, the id, the reptile brain, of course, being referenced to with the spinal cord. Okay, first of all, that's freaking disgusting. Bones gross me the heck out. So yeah. And why the fuck are you talking about kids? Don't you think that's kind of fucking weird? <laughs> uh, they do a great job of communicating the sense of urgent conflict, right? This battleground, this warfare is not being held on the ground, but on the spine. Meaning these characters aren't so much characters out in the world as they are reflections of parts of us, things within us. Philosophical principles illustrated in a more digestible. Wow, now you what are we talking about digesting children's bones? You are really Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! Okay, well you're the one who fucking invited me onto your show to talk about you edited no three Kyojin minutes Final of Chapters a video for me. And I really I'm the so one doing sick you the favor you're always here. trying to upstage me and make you, you think that you people make, think that you're smarter you, than me, but you, I clearly as you as can at least video, make an I'm attempt to have some level of congruency with this video.